All right, everybody, welcome back. We just got done beating Ganasty Ganork, and now we're about to go snatch up Ganasty's Galoot. Let's go. I don't know why I'm going on with the hard G sound thing. I, I guess it's just because the uh, interviewer for the dragons does the same thing. So, yep. This is the bonus world you get for uh, getting 100% on the game. I like the music that plays here. It's really good. And also, like an added bonus to this little bonus level, we can fly! No more gliding for Spyro. Isn't that lovely? Alright. So pretty much all you're doing here is just running around, searching every nook and cranny for treasure. This is where Nasty Nork was storing all of it. Simple concept. Like I said, you can still die here because there's water and lava. I don't know why he would keep water and lava so close to his treasure. Well, I guess if you know, he's scared that somebody might try and come to steal it, like we're doing right now. Well, technically speaking, we're not stealing it. We're recovering it. Not too far away. Right. Yeah, this is the dragon's treasure after all. So. Like, is it? Oh yeah, and by the way, there are still thieves here. These are some of the most annoying thief chases in the game. Crap! Okay, come on, thief. You've killed so many of your brethren. You are next. Thank you. Jesus. Alright. Just grabbing whatever we can. Okay, down over here, so Alright, up here. Get these three. And yeah, that's about it. It's pretty much you just need to like keep opening doors and for some reason that can raise your altitude, like the altitude of how high you can fly. Alright, so let's get one of those. Then we're up here, we can get a little higher now, so let's go to places that we couldn't before. Alright, we got an open field thief chase right here. If I remember correctly, this one is like Randy Moss, just like juking and jiving and yeah. I don't know why I chose Randy Moss out of all the football players I could have named, but yeah. Okay. Come on. Crap. Okay, alright. There we go. Not that hard, but... Eh. Okay, just break these. Anybody missing anything over here? Maybe not. So now we have the key. Make our way downtown. No. We'll make our way back here. My god, you are a slow fire. Ugh. Flyer, Spyro. Okay. This is what's goddamn annoying about this level. The plane thieves. They've learned... They, they've gained the power of flight now. And my god, is this like... One of the more annoying chases. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Damn it, thief. Thief. Who taught you how to fly? Oh my god. This is just so unfair. Thank you! Alright. Where's the door? I believe this is the door. We'll worry about the safety deposit boxes in a minute. Okay. Now, this thief is gonna be hard as hell. I hate this thief. It's pretty much, it's like the higher up you are, the 
Like, the higher your altitude, the slower the Spyro flies. So you need to really, like, get close to the lava to gain speed on this thief. However, if you die, you gotta do everything all over again. Crap. Okay. Yeah, he probably just respawned now. Yeah, he respawned. Okay. Alright. Take attempt next. I, I don't know. Take three? Yeah, take three. Did I say attempt number next? What is wrong? Okay. No! Oh, God! And yeah, I don't believe there are uh, harmless enemies for you to kill for sustenance in this level. Well, yeah. Or were there and I just forgot. Okay. Still have them in our sights. Why'd you go back up there, you son of a thief? Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're close. We're kind of close. Thief! Please, just be a good thank you! That did not take nearly as long as my first attempt at this. Well, my su su succeeding. Well, the, the recording sessions I was talking about last time that kept screwing up. That took me about 15 minutes to catch that thief. I am not making that up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, all that for one gem. But at least we can reach the highest altitude now. So that's a good thing. Go here and just start launching these rockets. Okay. Come on, rocket. Do your thing. Okay. Come on. There's the exit. We can reach it, but we're still collecting treasure right now. Okay, come on. Come on, sparks. I think one more chest or deposit box was destroyed. Yeah, right here, okay. And where does that pit me? Nine fifty. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's two thousand gems here. I think I. Well, I think I have to go in here now. Yep. There's one more room, and I think the developers just got lazy at this point. Like seriously, just. Yeah. Th this holds the rest of the treasure to complete the level. It's just lazy. You just set off the chain reaction, and there you go. In Nasty's little main room, the shrine to himself. Oh well, but Nasty's gone now. Okay, just grabbing all this right here. All right, and now to just wait for it to reach 2,000, just to make sure that I have everything. And indeed I do! Okay! And that was Nasty's loop. Kinda short, but okay. I think a cutscene is coming up. Cutscene. Where's the cutscene? Spyro the Dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the Dragon World, of course. I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my Dragon Days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. You know what they say. For every good battle, you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Uh-oh. Here we go again! Only not really, because... Nasty Nork, to my knowledge, does not show up in any other Spyro game. Seriously, like, th this is just another one of, 
like just like the you know ending you get from 100% in Crash Bandicoot like you would assume that that's the true ending because you know you need to go through a lot of bullshit to get it you need like in Spyro's case he had to you know just recover all the treasure find all the dragons and save all the eggs and Crash you needed to get all the gems yet the ending you get with those doesn't make sense to the series because Ripto's Rage picks off like in an entirely new setting and everything like I don't even think Nasty Nork is even mentioned is he? I don't know we'll see when I LP it but I don't know when I will that and Crash 2 it'll probably be sometime in uh, early 2013 or spring I, I don't know but it, it, it'll more likely be next year to sort of have like things lined up for what I plan to do for the rest of this year. Yeah, we're just sitting through the credits one more again with all the uh, setting, well, with different stages and stuff that we didn't see in the first credits section scene. Yeah. Oh, and as I was saying, like, all in all, this is my favorite uh, Spyro game for the PlayStation, you know, because of all the nostalgia and whatnot. But I honestly do feel that Ripto's Rage and uh, Star 3 Year of the Dragon are better games than this. Simply because, like, the levels are fleshed out, uh, like, more fleshed out, they, they incorporate challenges. I will admit the camera is a lot better. I you know, didn't really notice, like, the problems with the camera here until it came to, like, you know, charging the supercharging. It was like, I'm not pressing the button, but the camera is like, I, I don't know, it's weird, but... And the camera is fixed. And, you know, the story for both of those, you know, later games are, like, you know, just more fleshed out. Like, more in-depth plot. No sheep are hard to create of this game. Few norks with no sheep. Ha ha ha. But still, like, it's just a nostalgia of this game. Like, I played this one a lot more than I played Ripto's Rage. And definitely a lot more than Year of the Dragon. Because Year of the Dragon was the first game I got for my PS3. Yeah. Large gap in between playing the games, huh? So anyway, that was Spyro 1. Hope you all enjoyed. I am about to play some Pokemon now. So, thank you all for watching. See you all next time. Well, uh, no. Stay tuned for a new LP by me. Hint, hint, it's Luigi's Mansion. Okay, bye.